Hi everyone, welcome back to Scrapitarius on YouTube. I am sharing a swap with you today. This is my outgoing swap for Vivian the Paper Letter Blog's May Craft Club swap. And that's the envelope. The stamps look so pretty against the black. I love it. And uh, my partner's Rach, Rachel, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She's in Portugal. And this is what I've made for her. It's an exploding envelope. I This is my first time trying this. I've seen so many of these and always loved the idea. But I was always worried that I won't be able to fit either my letter or all the goodies in it. Like these tend to be a little flat. And then this time, the this month's theme, like we had to make a mini pen pal. So I was like, this is my opportunity since this packet is not expected to be very um, stuffed, chunky. I could maybe uh, take a stab at the envelope explosion or exploding envelope. So that's what I've made. It's cactus or succulent themed. But I've not kept strictly to the theme. I've included some um, doodle drawing book pages and I have included girl stickers and grid washi into the design because um, my partner's profile told me that these are her preferences and I wanted to make, have a way of including some goodies that, that she's looking for that, you know, she would love to receive I love these stickers they're really good quality they're from a seller here in India called a uh, little poppy press that's her name she's on Instagram and the grid washi is also those are also from sellers here in India but I guess they all come from the same place in China I'm thinking Okay, so while I'm fiddling with that envelope, these are the colors I'm sending her in grid washi. And the other, the girl sticker that's still outside, this is too tall to fit inside the envelope, so this goes here. This Project Life card um, is adhered down, that's not removable. This one is removable, and it has the washi tape sample on one side, and these are a few post it notes. That's the, this is the card talking about the swap and then that is my rather lengthy letter to Rachel. She did write that she enjoys a genuine lengthy letter and okay, mm, I think this is like four pages. That's a lot for a swap, I know. And that's the paper bundle and these are a couple project life cards on the side. This is the mail tag. Even in a swap, I usually end up making a mail tag, you know, in case um, we are matched again later and they end up writing back to me or if they just generally want to write back. And since it's a mail swap and mail tags are so common, I just usually write a mail tag. This is a sticker and uh, botanicals was another thing that she had mentioned in her preferences so i've tried to include some of that this bundle i've made it to fit inside this envelope uh, inside the pocket here sorry about that that is a project life frame for a photograph these are doilies then there's cactus themed letter paper and an envelope Two sheets of paper and an envelope this is also from a designer here in India and then these Nemo sheets I didn't have something in succulents so I just went with the closest colors and then botanical book pages
Okay, folks, I apologize if there's noise in the background. There's a thunderstorm raging outside um, as, I, as I do the voiceover. So these are a couple of Project Life cards. I have not adhered them down, just uh, used a bit of washi tape to uh, tack them onto the side of this envelope. And uh, two of them are held in place by the paper clip. The slide, the side flaps, I have left them decorative. I should show you the stickers I'm sending. Um, they are succulent themed. There we go. And uh, these are sticky notes. They are also cactus themed. A few shaped ones and then the square ones which you can fussy cut. So that's all that's going into this swap packet and I should tie it together with a string. I didn't do that in the beginning because I knew I would have to open it a few times for filming. I also make reels for my Instagram so I do end up having to go through these a couple times. Sorry about the jolt, I must have bumped into my tripod. and. This paper I've used for the envelope, the main envelope. This is pretty thick cardstock. It's a black and white wood grain paper, 12 by 12. Okay, you can see me struggling to get the twine back the way it was. After I finish a mail, I start feeling uh, precious about it. like I'm worried I'll tear it when trying to film. It makes me anxious, but uh, I wouldn't want to miss filming them because I want to share these projects with you all here on YouTube and on Instagram. And time to put this inside the envelope. The envelope's pretty big. This went off my envelope punch boards. They didn't have a uh, have the dimensions for something this size. So I just made one out of cardstock using my regular scoreboard. And I had to use a different cardstock for the flap, which is also from the same collection. Luckily, that worked out. And I'm sending a whole bunch of teas with this because I read that she enjoys teas. And well, this is going from India. And we are very fond of chai and tea out here. So, so yes. Thank you everyone for joining. And Raquel, if you are watching this, hopefully it's after you've received your mail. If you're watching this, I hope you liked it and for every one of you if you like my content please subscribe it will go a long long way in keeping me motivated i do have a lot of videos in the pipeline thank you thank you immensely for joining me today bye bye